Hey, what's going on guys? How you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Good morning to all of you in Japan and um, here's my whiteboard right here. Hope you guys can see me today. I'm excited to be here today. Um, I know it's 8 o'clock in the morning in Japan. Just want to say good morning to all of you guys. It looks like I got my screen up here. Let me just turn this off. All right, guys. Uh, good morning. Thank you guys very much for joining me today on my first YouTube live online lesson. I'm not going to lie. I am a little bit nervous today. I'm not really sure why. I've been doing these live lessons for quite some time now, but this is kind of a new style for me. And I just want to say thank you guys very, very much for joining me today. If you're joining me from Japan, good morning. And I also noticed uh, in the comments that we have people from all over the place. Uh, some people from France, I think it's pretty late out there. Somebody said that it was two o'clock in the morning where they're at. Wherever you are in the world, I just want to say thank you guys very, very much for joining me today. I am super excited to do this live online lesson. えっとですね、今日はね、初のね、ライブレッスンです。え、正直ね、ちょっとね、僕緊張してるんですよ。あの、今までにね、こういったレッスンもやったこともありますし、え、ね、たくさんの人たちの前でね、セミナーもね、数
what are you afraid of? You are maybe afraid that if you don't buy right now, there won't be any left when you go to the grocery store the next day. There won't be any food or water if you are late to the game, right? So that's why people panic buy. Sometimes people also panic buy because of disasters. It could be a natural disaster, right? It could be an earthquake. It could be a storm. It could be a hurricane. Whatever the case may be, these disasters will cause people to panic and you start feeling, you know, because of the earthquake, because of the hurricane, maybe I will not be able to buy food. Maybe I will not be able to provide food for my family. I should get the food right now. I should try to get as much food as I can right now. And that is why people typically tend to panic buy. And that also leads to this word shortage, right? Shortage just basically means that you rush to the store because you feel like it's not going to be there anymore. The products are going to run out if you don't go and buy it right now. Okay? So, じゃあなぜね、あのパニックバインをするのかというと、基本的にやっぱ一つはこの恐怖とかね、心配をするから何かを大量に買うというのが結構重要なポイントになってきます。じゃあ何を恐れるのか。まあ、例えばねこう災害とかですよね地震があったりとかあとは大きな台風が来るとかね、まあ、こういった影響でもしかしたらこれが1週間2週間続いてしまってスーパーに買い物に行けないこの買い物に行けない期間食べ物どうするんだろうそれで焦って慌てて一斉にみんなスーパーにかき駆け込んで大量に買う様子を表すんですね。まあ、それが今まさにね、今回の新型コロナウイルス感染で起こっている現象の一つでこれちょうどロサンゼルスでも23週間前に起きたことだったのですがこちらの方でね、外出禁止令が出た時にみんなやばいと思ってね、焦って一斉にスーパーに行って。They started panic buying because We didn't know, right? We didn't know what was going to happen. The future was very uncertain. We weren't sure if the grocery stores were going to be open. So everyone rushed to the grocery store and started panic buying. So, what did they panic buy? What did we panic buy in, you know, in times like this? One of the first things that went out was toilet paper. Okay, toilet paper and then paper towels, milk, eggs. Water and non perishable foods. Okay, so we got toilet paper, paper towel, gunyu, tamago, nizu, so the non perishable foods. これ知ってる人いますかね Do you guys know what that word is right there? Non perishable foods. So this word right here in Japanese, actually, before I give it to you in Japanese, here I'll give you some examples. Let's say, for example, like canned foods, canned foods. Pasta, rice, it could be dried foods. So, non perishable foods, these are foods that will last you for a really, really long time. Months, even years, these are the type of foods that you can live off of. It doesn't get old. Even if you eat it one year from today, you'll be fine. You're not going to be sick, right? これは日本語で言うとね、保存食品のことを表すんですね。保存食品のことを Non perishable foods と言いますまあ要するにみんな何をパニックバイしたかというとこちら We call this in English Let me just write this down Kind of hard to see but Living necessities Living necessities これは英語で言う生活必需品のことを表すんですねこれがまず真っ先になくなっちゃったんですよ These We're all out of stock, right? The first day that this、uh, coronavirus and the whole stay at home order came out. What came next was things like hand sanitizers, face masks, and also pet food is another one, right? So if you guys have pets, you know, make sure you、uh, get your pet food because この辺もね、もう全部なくなってるんですよね。Hand sanitizer はこう除菌ですよね。除菌ソープとか除菌ローションのことを。Hand sanitizers. Face mask. これがね、もう今あのこう顔にかけているマスクもそのまんまで、あとはペットフードもそうです。Alright? So, 
What do people panic by? Typically, first thing is the living necessities, the things that you need to live, right? And then you got the other stuff like hand sanitizers, face masks, and pet food. まあ、特にこの hand sanitizers と face mask は今の状況においてはこれがねすぐにな,なくなったのですが、depending on the situations, the other things can change. Okay? So, how do we make this into a sentence? Let's say, for example, a very simple sentence. People are panic buying, right? People in the United States are panic buying. Americans are panic buying. というふうにすごくシンプルにこうやってセンテンスを作ることができるんですね。これ要するに人は今買い占めている、買いだめをしていることを表します。で、ここね、もう一つ。People are panic buying でここの空欄の部分には何を今買い占めているのかっていうのを入れることができるんですね。So you could say something like People are panic buying toilet paper. People are panic buying paper towels. People are panic buying milk, eggs, water といった感じでもうここの空欄には何を買い占めているのかっていうのを入れるだけで OK です。Super simple, right? And then last one, panic buying leads to shortages, right? Shortage はこれ日本語で言うとね、品薄を表すんですね。まあ、要するにこうなくなっていく状態を表し、まあ、もちろんね、こうやって一斉にね、買い占めてしまうとね、在庫がなくなってしまいますので、that's what shortage is about. Okay? So that's what panic buying is all about. It means to buy a lot of something, but It's not just buying a lot of something. You are buying a lot of something because you are worried that something is going to run out. You are worried that something bad is going to happen. So you panic and you buy a lot. Pretty simple, right? まあ日本語でもね多分パニック買いというと思うので、まあ、その辺は大丈夫かと思います。Okay, let's go to the next. Hoarding. Okay, so this is another word that's been. That's been, you know, you hear a lot of, you hear a lot about this word hoard in the news right now. So, what does it mean to hoard something, right? Hoard means basically to save a lot of something, right? You are saving it and you are also hiding it so nobody can see it and you're also protecting it so nobody else like takes it from you, right? So, a good example of somebody or an animal hoarding something. Is a squirrel, right? A squirrel. So, squirrels typically, you know, they have to get ready for the winter where, you know, during the winter time they can't eat, right? So, during before the winter time, what they do is they hoard nuts for the winter, right? So, they go out and they pick their nuts, they take it to their house, and they hoard a whole bunch of nuts. So, when the winter time comes and it's really cold and it's snowing outside and there's no food, They have their nuts to eat. This is the idea of hoarding right here is you are basically collecting and saving a lot of things for the future, for, some, for something that you can use down the future. Okay? じゃあ hoarding は何かというとこれは何かをこうためることを表すね。ため込むことを表すんですね。だから例えばこれね。お金を蓄えることでもありますし、食料品ね、食料をもう一気に溜め込むねことを表すのがこのホールになり、まあ、ここでねこう一番イメージしやすいのがリスとかね、まあ、リスに限らないですけど、まあ、例えばリスがねあのこう冬に備えてどんぐりをいっぱいいっぱいこう溜め込むとで冬の間はね寒いし雪も降るしねもう食べ物もないから今のうちにもたくさんのこうどんぐりを集めて誰も見つからない場所にこう自分の中でこう隠してしっかり守っているこれがホールのイメージなんですねこのイメージさえ覚えておけばこのホールはどんな状況で使うこともできます。Alright? So, With hoarding, you basically save something so you can use it for later, right? Or you can use it for somewhere down the line.、Um, it's something that is valuable. It could be money, jewelry. But,、um, ここのね、valuable, 価値があるもの You know, when you hoard something, 
It could be money and jewelry. These are valuable things, but sometimes people hoard things that maybe are not as valuable to you or to me, but it's very important to them, right? もしかしたらね、皆さんにとっては重要なものじゃないかもしれないけど、自分にとってはものすごく重要なものをため込むっていう意味としても使われます。For example, like I used to have comic books. 僕昔漫画が大好きで I had a slam dunk. I used to hoard a whole bunch of comic books and I would not throw it away. 自分にとってこの漫画ってものすごく大事だったので何があっても絶対にね子供の時って漫画は捨ててなかったんですよね I was hoarding my manga. Okay? というふうにこのお金とかね食べ物だけではなく It could be books, it could be CDs, it could be magazines, it can literally be anything. It just means that you are saving something, you're hiding it, and you're not, and you're like protecting it very, very carefully. Okay? So, yes, hoard, okay? Hoard is the word right here. So, how do we use this? So, let's say, for example, let's go with a classic example here. He's hoarding money under his bed. He is hoarding money under his bed. What that means is he is hiding money under his bed. He is saving and hiding his money under his bed. Right? 皆さんもね、もしかしたらへそくりとかしてるんじゃないですか Right? そのへそくりとかをしていること、Right? を hoarding money under his bed. どこかにお金をため込んでいる。この彼の場合は、ベッドの下にお金を溜め込んでいる。まあ、ベッドの下だったらすぐ見つかっちゃうかもしれないですけど、You get the point here, right? Alright, so there you go. This one can be used exactly the same way as panic buying. People are hoarding 何々。ここには何を今溜め込んでいるのかっていうのを入れるだけです。Alright, so let's say for example, people are hoarding hand sanitizers. People are hoarding Face masks. People are hoarding pet food. のようにここは何を溜め込んでいるのかっていうのを入れることができます。Alright, you love this shirt, the best cat dad. Yeah. <laughs> and,、um, and I'll give you another sentence here. People are panic buying and hoarding living necessities. もう一回いきますね。People are panic buying and hoarding living necessities. 要するに、ここのセンテンスは、ここ両方ともね、一緒に同じセンテンスで使うことができるんですね。まあ、人は今、パニック買いをして、もういろんなものを買い占めているっていうのを表しているのがここですね。必要需品を買い占めている。This is exactly what was happening in Los Angeles two or three weeks ago. People were panic buying and hoarding. Living necessities, and that's why we couldn't buy paper towels and toilet papers even until today. It's pretty difficult to get these things. So, the message here, guys, is let's stop hoarding and start sharing. Right? The lesson that I learned is that at the after two weeks, you know, the grocery stores are going to be open, right?、Um, they're not going to close down. You're going to get your food. You're going to get your toilet paper. So please don't hoard. And I know in Japan, you know, you guys are facing a very similar situation right now. I think、uh, the prime minister just,、um, you know, put out a state of emergency, a national state of emergency in Japan. I've been seeing on Facebook that people are panic buying, people are hoarding living necessities. But Let's stop hoarding and let's start sharing because you know we all need these things to live and you don't need a lot. Now, important point here hoard. ね、save っていうとね、なんかいい意味ですよね。Like when you say you save something, it kind of has like a good feeling to it, right? Like a good meaning to it. But typically, when you talk about hoard, it has a negative connotation. これはものすごくね、マイナスな意味合いがありますので、I am hoarding money とかね。I am hoarding ね、何々。その後に入れる。これって基本的にすごくマイナスな意味合いがあるので、日常会話ではあまり使うことはお勧めできません。もちろん今の状況の中ではね、この言葉をよく見るのですが、一般的に何かをこう、貯めるとかね、貯め込むっていう意味としては、ホールは使わない方がいいので、ここが一つニュアンスの部分になります。OK? And last one is to stock up. Okay, when you stock up on something, this also is very similar to panic buying. It means to buy a lot of something. 
じゃあここの stock up and panic buying what is the difference? there's a big difference between panic buying and stocking up now why do people stock up? Okay, こちらちょっと比べてみましょう why do people stock up in the first place? just like panic buying You can stock up for a disaster, right? Maybe a hurricane or a typhoon is coming and you're not going to be able to go outside for a week or so. You stock up on your food and your groceries, right? Because you don't know when you could go to the grocery store next. You know, so there might be a storm coming. So you stock up on water, you stock up on food. TP, TP is actually an abbreviation for toilet paper and also paper towels. But when you stock up on something, it doesn't have to be for a bad situation. And this is the key point about stocking up. Sometimes you stock up because maybe it's on sale, right? Or maybe you find a rare item. Let's say, for example, like a, I love potato chips, right? I love potato chips. And let's say a potato chip bag is usually $3, but it's on sale today for only $1. So I would tell my wife, hey Akina, let's stock up on potato chips, <laughs> right?、Um, a rare item. What does this mean right here? So when you live in, let's say for example, the United States, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to get good Japanese food. I love Japanese curry. I love Japanese pasta. Japanese のね、あの日本のね、明太子パスタがとにかく大好きなんですよね。そういうのね、スーパーに行った時に見かけると、I would usually stock up on Japanese curry, I'd stock up on mentaiko pasta, I stock up on Japanese snacks. Every time I go to a Japanese grocery store, I always stock up on Japanese goods because I don't know when I'm gonna go to the store again. So, you could stock up on stuff like that. ということで、ここの stock up はどう違うかというと、まあ、実際にね、あの今のこう、ね、状況、こういったねあのコ、コロナウイルスのね、ちょっと心配で何かをこう買いだめするっていう意味として使うこともできるのですが、もうちょっとこう日常的に、例えば何かがこう、ね、セールですごく安いと、安いから今ちょっともう買いだめしちゃうっていう意味で、ストックアップを使うこともできますし、まあ、例えば僕みたいにね、僕は1ヶ月に1回日本のスーパーに行くんですよ。で、日本のスーパーに1ヶ月に1回ぐらいしか行かないので、その時にはもう大量に日本食を買うんですよね。その時に僕はストックアップを使います。So I'd say, Akina, let's stock up on Japanese food. We're only gonna be here the next time we're coming back to the Japanese store is next month. So we should stock up right now. のようにこの表現はもうちょっと日常的な意味として使うことができます。Okay? So, you know, where do people stock up? You could go to grocery stores, but in America and even in Japan, a big place where people usually stock up. Oh. Costco, right? People go to Costco to stock up. Costco. これ日本語で言うとね、コストコなんですけど、英語でもね、we say Costco, right? So people typically go to Costco to stock up on food because they sell large quantities of meat and food and water and liquids and the list goes on. So people typically go to Costco to stock up on things. All right? So let's just take a look at the example here.、Um, これはね、It's a sentence that I use、uh, with my wife all the time. I say, Oh my god, Akina! The curry is on sale. Let's stock up. カレーが安いよ。今ちょっと買いだめしていっぱい買っとこう。こういう感じですね。I need to stock up on. 何々。なのでここはちょっと買いだめをしないといけないね。ものが入るんですね。I need to stock up on water. I need to stock up on paper towels. I need to stock up on Eggs、のようにここにはその買いだめをしない今大量に買わないといけないものを入れますここのポイントは必ずこの on を入れることですね stock up on 何々、okay? 例えば people right now are stocking up on toilet paper people now are stocking up on non perishable foods のように必ず何を買いだめしているのかっていうのを表すときはこの on を入れるようにしてください Okay, and let's go to Costco and stock up 
on food. All right, so these are just some pretty straightforward, easy example sentences. Stock up, unlike hoarding or panic buying. So panic buying also has a kind of a negative connotation to it. Stock up, on the other hand, これは一切ね、ネガティブな意味合いっていうのはないんですよ。I'm going to stock up on 何々っていうから、そのね、買い占めるっていうとなんかすごくね、悪いイメージなのですが、このスターカップは一切そういうことではなく、もうとりあえずちょっとね、今安いから買いだめしとこうというような感じで、日常的に使えるのがこちらのスタックアップになります。で、今の状況の中ですよね、今ちょっとパニック状態でみんな慌てて一斉にスーパーに行って買い占めている。これがパニックバイング。で、これが買うっていうのであれば、これはもう溜め込む。これもネガティブなニュアンスがあります。今のね、こう状況の中ではこの2つがよく使われますが、多分日常的にね、皆さんが使えるのがこちらのスタックアップになります。All right, so、um, there we go. We got、uh, three words right there panic buying, hoard, and stock up. I hope that was clear to you guys. I hope that made a little bit of sense. Hopefully,、um, you guys are not、uh, hoarding or panic buying right now. It's okay to stock up, but don't do too much of it, right?、Uh, make sure you、uh, save enough for other people because we are all in this situation together. All right.、Um, 今日のね、レッスンノート、ここにはね、書いてあるのですが、I'm going to share these notes on Hapa Buddies. 本当はね、ちょっと YouTube でもね、このノートを流したいのですが、もし Hapa Buddies に参加をされている方であれば、今日ここで紹介した内容はすべて Hapa Buddies であのダウンロードできるように PDF 版をあの投稿しますので、Come, if you want the free、uh, printed version, the PDF version, Come to Hapa Buddies.、Uh, it's free for the month of April. 4月はね、あの1ヶ月間無料になりますので、まあ、今日のレッスンノートが欲しい方、ダウンロード版が欲しい方は、Buddies にぜひ参加をしてください。Alright. So,、um, the next、uh, lesson is going to be on Thursday, April 9th at 8 a.m. Alright. 次回はね、あのイディオムに関するね、イディオムを皆さんにご紹介したいと思います。えー、木曜日の午前8時となりますので、まあ、今日のねちょっとスタイルみたいに、まあ、今の状況に関連する表現だけど、まあ、日常的にもね使える表現を皆さんに紹介したいと思いますので Hope to see you guys on Thursday at 8am and I just want to say thank you guys very much for leaving all these comments it makes it very easy for me to do this, do this type of teaching because you guys are super supportive and You know what? I had a great, great time doing these live lessons and I'm looking forward to doing more of these. All right? I know、um, 8 a.m. might be a little bit. Oh, thank you very much for the donations. Name, ちょっと皆さんにとってね、朝8時早いってね、思う方いるかもしれませんが、maybe it's a good way to, you know, start a new habit of getting up early every single morning, right? And what better way to start your day than to learn a little bit of English, right? Now, The key point about learning phrases is, ここは覚えるだけではなく、ノートに書くだけではなく、しっかりとアウトプットをするように、それは独り言でもいいですし、今日学んだことをまた自分の友達に説明をしてみる。日本語で説明してもね、これ結構効果的なので、もしアメリカ人の、ね、ネイティブの友達がいなければ、今日このパニック、バイン、ホール、スタックアップの違いについて、誰かに今日学んだことを教えてみると、これもこれでまたね、頭に残りますので、まあ、今日学んだことをただ単に覚えるのではなく、もうどんどんどんどんどん実践をしてね、あの発信をしていくようにしてください。Because what's the point of just memorizing it if you're not going to use it? Alright? Alright, guys,、um, もうちょっとね、20分間完全に過ぎてしまいましたが、Thank you guys very, very much for joining me today. Please be safe, be responsible, and、um, you know, I think the message that I have for you guys today is、uh, let's keep spreading positive vibes, not the virus. Alright? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll catch you guys again next time on Thursday, 8 a.m. See you guys. Peace.